Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome to our first online Bible class for third and fourth graders. I'm Sister Lily Arnold. Hopefully you all remember me. Uh, all the teachers miss you all. And uh, we hope that you all have been safe. Hope that everyone uh, got promoted to their next class in school. And uh, we're looking forward to you all engaging in the classes that we prepare for you. Uh, I know you all miss your donut teacher. She'll be on later, uh, another time, giving you a presentation. Unfortunately, you won't be able to have donuts. But she will be here later, giving you all a lesson. Uh, before we get started, let's have an opening prayer. Heavenly Father, <clears throat> excuse me. thank you for this day. Thank you for waking us up so that we can uh, learn more about you and your word and what you would have us to do and how you would have us to live. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the trials and the tribulations because we know that they're there to draw us closer to you. These and other blessings we uh, pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let's do a little short song. It's a couple of stanzas. You all know it, so just sing along with me. It's called uh, This is the Day. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Okay, that's enough. Uh, Okay, so today our lesson is going to be coming from the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 1, verse 22. And I'm going to go ahead and read that for you right now. Uh, Exodus 1, 22. And Pharaoh charged all his people, saying, Every son that is born, you shall cast him into the river, and every daughter shall be saved. So Pharaoh is going to have all the baby boys killed, and all the baby girls will be saved. And to learn more about why that happened, uh, as an assignment, I'd like for you all to go back after the recording and read Exodus chapter 1. It's going to give you an idea. It's actually, it's going to tell you why Pharaoh wanted all the baby boys killed. Okay. Uh, let's see. I read the scripture. Okay. How many of you all know how uh, what... Testament Exodus is in. Is it in the New Testament or is it in the Old Testament? We do know that ex, uh, the Old Testament has 39 books. Is it in the Old Testament? The New Testament has 27 books. Is it in the New Testament? So you mathematicians can go back and add those numbers and you will know how many books there are in the Bible. Okay, the next chart I'm going to show you has the first five books in the Old Testament. Do you see the book of Exodus? Sure you do. The book of Exodus shows us, or rather is in the listing of the books, first five books in the Old Testament. So we know that the book of Exodus is in the Old Testament. Okay, what we want uh, you all to be able to remember or learn today is that the journey that baby Moses took when he was going down the Nile River in the basket. We want you to be able to see from the information we're going to show you a little later what that was like and how scary that could have been. Although if you're a little baby, you don't, you have no fears. <laughs> You don't know that you're in danger, but God was protecting baby Moses. Okay, now I'm going to show you a picture of that represents the Nile River. This is a picture of the Nile River. It's long, it's wide. We don't know where it ends, where it begins. And two interesting facts about the Nile River. The Nile River is the longest river in Africa. And it's the longest river in the world. So it, ha it just goes and goes and goes. And what do you find in a river? Snakes. 
alligators, crocodiles, bears, all sort of wild beasts and animals and sea animals and we just don't know what's in there. So it's scary. Now I grew up in the country and uh, I'm the oldest of four. My two brothers and my sister would often jump in the creek or the pond and go swimming. They would fish in the pond and the creek and they would go swimming. Now, I didn't want to get in the creek because I didn't know how to swim. And I didn't want to learn in the creek. But my two brothers would often try to sneak up on me and, and push me in the creek, but it just didn't happen. I wasn't going to let it happen. I always had my guard up. And I can't swim. When I left home, I could not swim a lick. And I can swim just a little now. But it's very good to know how to swim. It can save your life or you can help to save someone else's life. But that's what they did when I was in the country. Okay, uh, I, what we're going to do now is we, we're going to see a little short video clip. The video clip is actually our story today. So pay close attention to the, the story because later on in the lesson, I'll have some questions for you to answer. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Baby Moses was an Israelite. Pharaoh did not like the Israelites. God blessed them and many good things happened to them. This made Pharaoh mad. But you know what else? Pharaoh was also scared. He didn't want the Israelites to take away his kingdom. He wanted to make sure there weren't very many of them. So, Pharaoh told everyone, Kill every baby boy that is born to the Israelites. Oh no! The Israelites were so afraid. One Israelite mother had a baby boy. She loved him so much. She named him Moses. She hid him for a long time. When Moses was getting too big to hide, she made a basket to put him inside. She put Moses in the basket and put the basket into the river. Moses had a big sister. Her name was Miriam. Miriam hid in the bushes near the river. Miriam watched the basket float away and ran to see what happened to it. She saw the basket float up to the daughter of Pharaoh. The princess wanted to keep baby Moses. Miriam ran to her and said, Should I go and get you one of the Israelite women to take care of the baby for you? Pharaoh's daughter said, Yes. So Miriam brought Moses' mother to Pharaoh's daughter. Take this baby and take care of him for me. I will pay you money to care for him. When he has grown up, bring him to me, and I will take him as my son. Moses' mother was so happy. Baby Moses didn't die. She got to take care of him. But Moses' mother knew she had to give Moses back to Pharaoh's daughter when he was bigger. But she trusted God. Okay, what did you think about that? The Nile River, baby Moses and a basket floating down the Nile River with all those creatures in the water. How do you think he was saved? It had to be the hand of God. And do you think Moses' mother had faith and trust in God? 
She had to have or she wouldn't put her baby in the Nile River and float him down the river and just let him go. Because it was either that or have her baby taken and thrown in the river without the boat and without God's blessing. So that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to be able to trust him. We have to establish a relationship with God. We have to pray. We have to study. We have to spend time with other like-minded people, people who are trying to go in the same direction that we are to heaven. And uh, one of the things that I want, another thing that we, we need to learn from today's lesson is we have to also establish good relationships with people. Because when you have a good relationship with people, when something comes up, you know who you can turn and who you can trust and depend on. There are some people that are your so-called friends, but when you really need them, they're not there for you. So you need to be able to determine who's really my friend, who's really who really has my back. Okay, now in uh, today's lesson, after the lesson, after the video recording, you'll be able to go back. I'm going to read some true and false questions. There's only eight. I'm going to read the question. You can go back and get your Bible if you need to use it. And then after the recording and after you've done the quiz, uh, sh share this paper with your parents so that they can check, help you check to see if you got the correct answers. They're real simple, so I know everybody's going to get 100. Okay, question number one. King Pharaoh ordered all the baby girls to be thrown in the Nile River. True or false? King Pharaoh ordered all the baby girls to be thrown in the Nile River. True or false? Number two. A husband and wife from the Hebrews hid their baby boy over three months from King Pharaoh. A husband and wife from the Hebrews hid their baby boy over three months from Pharaoh. True or false? Number three. The baby boy was named Moses and his mother put him in a basket in the Nile River. True or false? The baby boy was named Moses and his mother put him in a basket in the Nile River. True or false? Number four. Moses' mother put him in the Nile River because she no longer wanted him. Moses' mother put him in the Nile River because she no longer wanted him. True or false? Number five. Moses' sister Miriam followed the basket along the river. Moses' sister Miriam followed the basket along the river. True or false? Number six. King Pharaoh's daughter saw the basket and ordered her helpers to get it out of the river. King Pharaoh's daughter saw the basket and ordered her helpers to get it out of the river. True or false? Number seven. Miriam asked King Pharaoh's daughter if she wanted one of the Hebrews to take care of the baby. Miriam asked King Pharaoh's daughter if she wanted her to get one of the Hebrew mothers to take care of the baby. Number eight, Miriam took baby Moses to his own mother and she took care of him. Miriam took baby Moses to his own mother and she took care of him. Okay, those are the questions that we have. Again, like I was saying, we want to be able to establish good relationships. Uh, Moses' mother had a good relationship with God. She trusted God. Uh, or otherwise, she wouldn't have, never would have put her baby in, in a basket down a river. How many of you would be able to put your baby sister or brother, your favorite video game, your doll, your cell phone, your iPad, and a boat and send it down the river. How many of you would put yourself in a boat in the Nile River and go down the river? I wouldn't. As I said, I don't know how to swim very well. So I know I wouldn't do that. Okay. Uh, that's all our lesson for the day. Thank you all for joining in and participating. And uh, we're going to have a closing prayer. But before that, I want to remind you all to log in next week because you have another lesson from one of our teachers. And we look forward to uh, seeing you all on the uh, call-in 
dial in, however you're going to log into the system to get the lesson next week. Okay, thank you again. Uh, we miss you, and let's have a closing prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to be able to come and log on to this online Bible class and to learn more about baby Moses and his journey down the Nile River. We pray that everyone will remain safe and that we all will uh, look out for one another and that we will all try to think about this lesson later in the week and apply to our lives in some way. These and other lessons we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.